Hi, I'm Angela Simonson. The community engagement team here at DCC supports several local organizations, and one of those is Obria PNW. Today, we're going to be speaking with River Sussman from Obria. Hi, River. Hi, Angela. Thank you so much for joining us oh, today. Of course. Yeah. So we are here to learn more about Obria and what goes on there. So please share with us. Sure. Obria started 40 years ago. Uh, five churches came together uh, in response to the fact that 10 years earlier, Roe versus Wade had happened. And the churches were like, how can we help these moms that are in this crisis kind of situation? So they came together, created the Crisis Pregnancy Center. Names have changed over the decades. Um, we became My Choices as an um, organizational entity in 2010. And we joined with a national affiliate, Obria, in 2017. So we do pregnancy tests, we do ultrasounds, um, we do parenting classes, um, everything from prenatal development and what's going to go on during your pregnancy and how do you take care of yourself, nutrition, all that stuff, up to um, infant care and then beyond toddler care. I mean, we even have judges send uh, parents that need parenting classes um, in order to have a visitation with their children. We do parenting classes for the court system as well. We also have a baby boutique where when they do those classes or they do other things that are like good for building a strong family, like could be coming to church or taking English as a second language or stopping smoking or anything like that, something that's going to be helpful to their family, we give them baby bucks and the baby bucks they can trade in for anything in our baby boutique, which is clothes, diapers, wipes, new car seats, new cribs. And in the meanwhile, we get to build a relationship with them and know what's going on in their lives. And when we can pray with them, we pray with them and talk about, you know, just give them referrals out into the com community for whatever they need. Wow, that sounds like a fantastic program. It is, yeah. How do, how do you do that day to day? What does that look like? Oh boy. Um, <laughs> well, we do have three centers. We have a center in Port Angeles, we have one in Squim, and we have one in Port Townsend. Because of the, where we live, the, the population's not, it's not like as dense as it is as it is in Seattle um, or a place like that. Mm -hmm. We're not open five days a week in each center. We're open three days in Port Angeles, three days in Squim, and one day over in Port Townsend. Okay. Um, so we have appointments and people can call in for appointments. Um, if they walk in and we're able to see them, we'll see them that way. Um, we have advocates that, that actually work with the clients as well as a medical staff, full medical staff. You know, in addition, we also have STD testing and treatment and referrals. And um, recently, uh, we have a nurse practitioner. Actually, she came from DCC who works with us. And so we are happily expanding the scope of medical services that we're going to be providing. So mm -hmm. you have staff. Are these folks paid? Is it all volunteer? We have a lot of paid staff. Mm -hmm. I mean, a larger percentage of our staffing is paid. And we also thankfully have a number of very faithful and devoted volunteers that uh, fill in the gaps. Wow, what are mm -hmm. some of those gaps? What are those roles? Okay, uh, yeah, some of it is like being a receptionist as when people come in. Um, we always have at least two people in the center when we open up just for safety. Mm -hmm. um, and so it could be being that. I mean, we love having an IT guy. We do have volunteers that come in and clean. It can be things like taking up posters and putting them around in the community. I mean, if anybody is interested in volunteering, um, if I sit and talk with them for a while, I'll figure out where they fit in. And so, um, nice. yeah, they're welcome to call or email me. So it sounds like you have a lot of ways to support those who are going through pregnancy or even after. Do you have any other programs there, Obria? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I'd love to talk about a little bit about our EDGE program. I love this program because this is a program for teens, uh, literally like 12 to 19 kind of age, and it brings lessons about communication, um, about values, about what is it you want in your life and how can you get there. Um, so these are risk avoidance lessons to help them understand how they can navigate the challenging things that they have facing them at that time in their life, which there are a lot at this time. And I love this program because 
Uh, if we can give teens the ability to make choices with certain risks, then when it comes to the risk of like being involved sexually when it's a not appropriate, they may have the personal um, strength to be able to know, yeah, I don't want to go there. Mm -hmm. So I love that program and, that, and that's available to go into the schools or to youth groups or any kind of a group with, with a homeschooling groups, you know, with youth. Wow, that's mm -hmm. great. That really helps with that season of life for identity and making decisions. You got it. That like is it. Mm -hmm. That's great. Well, I just want to thank you so much for joining us today and hearing what's going on in Obria. If there's someone out there who's listening and they would like to volunteer and chat with you or maybe someone needs your services or they know someone who might need your services, how can they best get a hold of you? Email or, or um, call. Okay, Yeah. great. Well, thank you so much for watching today. And if you would like to get involved with Obria or you know someone who needs their services, be sure to call or email River. Thanks again for watching.